Today on The Real. It's a new year with new episodes of The Real. And one of the most shocking girl chat admissions ever. Kind of weird, y'all. <laughs> then we're taking you shopping for a steal. What? Plus, Real Housewife Erica Jane is here. What do you like about being married to an older man? Well, I just. Money. <laughs> the Real. of crying at times, right, ladies? Yes. You know, I know I'm a boo Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, an article in The Atlantic says, looking down on people who cry at work is sexist. Ooh. Oh. A recent survey showed that in the past year, 41% of women admitted to crying at work, and only 9% of men said they shed tears at work. Psh. Now, some of the explanation <laughs> is hormonal. Uh, women tend to cry over helplessness or hopelessness or... That man that just won't act right, you know? <laughs> While men tend to react to most situations with anger and cussing, Ooh. you know? Mm -hmm. So is it okay to cry at work or should women find another way to handle tough times? What would you rather? Would you rather someone crying or cursing you out and getting yeah, angry? Exactly. I would rather someone crying than throwing their paperweight at me. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, because exactly. there are some famous people who have lost their and they throw other things at other people that hurt them. I mean, you would rather want somebody to like yeah. pent it out this way. But I will say this, I like people who let it out in a healthy way, like crying, rather than people who hold it in and don't yes. know how to cry in a healthy way. Well, Have you ever met those people? Yeah, because it'll eventually come out yes. Yes. in different out. ways. Yes. Right. Out of nowhere, they'll just up. start yelling at you because you didn't pass the fork. Yes. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. That's exactly. Oh, no, it's true. Okay. American psycho. No, they true. become murderers and stuff, you know? <laughs> well, when, I worked, when I worked in corporate America, yeah. I actually, I would not cry in front, because I only worked with yeah. men, so oh, I wouldn't yeah. cry in front of men. I would go to the bathroom, yes. and I'd let it out. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's and what the I... bathroom stalls are for. Exactly. Yes. That's what I would do, because I'm like, no, I'm not letting these men see me cry, yeah. you yes. know? And I was young, too. So I don't think it was necessarily... Um, Helplessness, I just think sometimes you just need to let it out. Mm -hmm. you know? That's true. But that's interesting that you did it privately so that people wouldn't judge you. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. but see, that's what I'm saying. It, it sucks that you have to worry about somebody judging you. Yeah, they would. Uh, but at the same time, it's what how you, mean, you cry, Adrian? right? <laughs> There's a healthy cry of, like, getting a little teary, like, you know, I really think this was wrong, and maybe in a private setting, then, like, at a conference room where you're like, <laughs> and then, and then you true. didn't do me, right? And, yeah, well, I, I didn't want to do it because I didn't want, pe want people to think that I was unstable. Because right. at that time, when I was know? young, I thought Lonnie, that that's what that showed. That's the misperception of emotional people, though. Yep. A lot of people think that emotional people are weak. You guys, it's actually the yep. opposite. It means that they're really strong. Yes, yes. And I also learned it's because we, because, huh, I'm an emotional person, and I think Lonnie is one too, we're right? Because we cancers. We are cancers. We're cancers. We but moody too. We are very intuitive, and we can sense other people's feelings, so we actually carry that with us. Oof. I know. That mm -hmm. sucks. But it also makes us great friends. Right. Because if we're, if I'm going through something and I, and I come to you, you actually have empathy. Mm -hmm. And the worst is when you're talking to somebody who just doesn't get what you're going through. And you get frustrated. Mm. And you get frustrated, yes. But then if I'm crying and I hang out with a cancer or one of you guys, are you guys then crying with me so then we're both yes. all sad together? Yes, it's yeah. true. Probably. If you hang out with me, I'm the Scorpio. I'll be like, look, girl, put your big girl panties on and get yeah. back out there. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. She, if... she just rub you by your back and be like, okay, get it together, okay? Yeah. You, you going through something. <laughs> 
<laughs> but we've actually been there. We've been like, oh, you're just going through something. We're going to be all right. Exactly. But so. I think that's OK as well. But if I'm honest, um, I think there is levels to it. There is a moment yes. where you can uh, obviously go into a bathroom stall, let out a little healthy cry. But if we're going to be honest, you guys, if you're crying every single day at work, can we be real? That's Maybe you different. need a different job. Yeah, that's that true. That is true. That's true. You that's shouldn't true. be crying every day yeah. at work. I mean, the occasional, yeah. I feel overwhelmed, yes. I'm frustrated, yes. But every day, nah. Well, look, that's like what people happened? try to say about us, you know, especially me. They're like, Lonnie, you cry a lot. You know. Yeah, but you're, yeah. you're not crying about your job. Right. You're I'm... crying about the issues that we're talking about yeah. that are near and dear to your heart. And, yes. that, and sometimes it's tears of joy. Yes. So I'm like, I don't want people to, out there to feel like something's wrong with me. No. There's nothing wrong. I'm just an emotional person. She's like that, too. Yeah, I cry when I'm happy. Yeah. I cry when I'm frustrated. I cry when I'm mad. Yeah. I cry when I'm sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just cry. cry. I cry a lot. <laughs> but I will tell you this. And it let it out, yes. And sometimes I just have a good cry. I just let I just it out. I have an ugly cry. That's what I'm trying to work on is not having that ugly cry. I want to have a cute cry. And then but you get not... really hot. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yes. And, yes. and I got to learn how to cry and, and still be able to keep it together. The biggest eyes I've that's ever seen. Yes. Yeah, that's the problem. When you guys, problem. when Lonnie cries, it's not like one tear. It's, it's alligator. Yeah, it's it's alligator. alligator. Like those tear drops <laughs> no. are something else. Yo, yo you guys know. Turn off. If Lonnie gets emotional at the table, don't make eye contact with no. her, dude. If you look at her, you're going to be bawling, too. You look at you yes. just like this. Lonnie, what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Wiki has some suggestions on how not to cry when you're trying to keep it together. Mm. Maybe I need to focus on this. It says, focus on your breathing. Calming yourself is a big part of controlling your cry. Like, <gasps> ooh, you yes. know. Yes, yes. You, know. you can also find something to squeeze. A toy, mm -hmm. a pillow, or a loved one. Yep, dude, under or here. Or a co You do we I do that? I literally hold Jeannie. We... I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to yeah. do it. Not today. Not today. And you help me out a lot. I know. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to put on a big fake smile, too. You're always saying, fake it until yes. you make it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you don't want to cry, just... Fake it and keep smiling. Yes. You know what keep else is smiling. good, you guys? Smiling. Keep on smiling. Have you ever thought you were about to cry? And I heard that like your tear ducts and your nose, your nasal passages are all connected. If you yes. ever put eye drops in it, you can taste it down yes. your throat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Same concept. Okay. If you feel like your tears are about to come out, if you breathe in deeply, respira profundo. Suck you it. hit it with a one, two, three. You can actually suck your tears back. I'm just saying it does really? work. And don't blink. Try not to blink, because if you blink, then it'll drop. You can suck your tears back. Yes, girl, I do it all the time. You can also make, make it look, you can make yourself look like you got a nose job. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you just look weird, Jeannie. Multiple things. <laughs> all right. Listen to this now. <laughs> Lawyers in California could possibly be barred, are you ready for this, from having sex. With their clients. I never knew they could. Okay. Me neither. I didn't know this either. Who and you knew? guys, we're talking about California here. So California apparently has some... It's a freaky, freaky place. Eh? Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, they do. All right, the nation's <laughs> largest bar association is considering ethical rules. And for the first time in 30 years, lawyers would be disciplined for having sex with the people they are hired to defend. Can you imagine that? Wait. So, but, court, okay. I never knew, okay, I really never knew you really could have sex with your lawyer. Why would I, I want to have sex one. with my lawyer, though? Some people pay that way. I mean, that's... <laughs> no, ah, Lonnie! I, allegedly. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, I, I thought that was always illegal. Yeah. I, no. thought was, I mean, it's illegal in the workplace for you to have sex with your yes. co-workers or people that are above you, so why would it be okay? Mixing business with, with I don't pleasure. Care. Nothing lawyers good ever are came out of it. fine and they rich, so <laughs> I mean... Oh, my God. That's something you, you know. Okay, so supporters of this ban say any relationship with a lawyer and a client is unequal and in turn coercive, but some lawyers say what happens between two adults is none of anybody else's business. Mm. So I want to know what you guys think because, shoot, I really thought about this for a second. You know, I've never been in that situation, but I do think that if you're always in an office atmosphere, I mean, think about it, if you've 
If you've watched, <laughs> I've heard <laughs> that when you watch certain Yo, adult, you heard. I've heard some certain adult film scenarios that office super strict super, you know, them wearing suits and stuff. suits and then the skirts have a little out. power. Yeah, but it's like the secretary and the lawyer. It's not the defendant and the yeah. lawyer. Yeah, but that could be a whole new 2.0 session that you haven't seen. No. Look, if you facing 25 to life, you do whatever you can not to face that. So, <laughs> oh I mean, yes. Plus, if yeah, you really but, think about it, come on. Yeah, if, but what if it don't work out right and then he really right? don't care about you? What if your, it's bad, you have bad sex? Right? <laughs> yeah. What's I'm just about saying. To say? That's what I'm saying. What if you have bad what sex? What if you don't have that good good? Yes, and then, and then he's looking at you like, oh, God, I got to make this win. I can't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? And he sends you away for life because he don't want to see you no, no more. more. Exactly. Okay, okay, but what do you do then? What if yes. your stuff is so good? Let him know, Jeannie. Dude, okay. what, if it's so, what if it's so good that you walk up in there like... <laughs> 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 Let me what tell if... you something, your honor. But what if I'm you knew kidding. your client... <laughs> what if you knew your client was guilty? And it was really good. Then well, then you give it do. to them even better. Well, <laughs> you no, what yeah. I'm saying is, is it clouds your perception. You know this person needs to go to jail, but you don't want them to go to jail because you want to get the good good. Yeah, well, that's why you want to give it to them good so they don't go to jail. <laughs> no, Jeannie. Wait, do you guys really, you know, uh, <laughs> you over here. I'm just trying to understand. I believe that there are lawyers that defend people knowing that, that they're, they're guilty. guilty regardless. So, yeah. right. oh, so yeah. that don't matter. You know, it's just you know, how you pay is what they care about. No. <laughs> I, mean, I think it's a terrible idea. Me okay, too. Well, that's why, so you're for the ban. You're I, for, I thought it was always illegal, so the ban makes No, you're talking about like... Um, no, I always thought it was illegal for a defendant to have sex with a person. It was, I would think it, it was unethical. Like a doctor. I thought it was yeah, unethical I thought, to yes. make this. Yes. With that would be so hard with a doctor. My doctor. No. You would have sex with your... You guys, I'm Why just yeah? letting my mind go there for a second. Just... What? Okay. Okay. I got a little pre-Jesus genie side of me. There's a little side that likes to oh entertain situations. Dude, it's not right. I would never do it. Dr. Kellogg, I would never get in <laughs> that situation with you. Ever. He makes but... cereal and he a doctor. <laughs> there was a butt there, though. <laughs> but Dr. Just Kellogg. Think about for a second, like, that scenario. If you were single, if your doctor was single, and you walked in and your doctor had a stethoscope and you had nothing but yeah, a but sheet. why are you there? Ba -bam, ba -bam, no. ba -bam. You say why are you there? Yeah, exactly. The question is why are you at the doctor's exactly. office? Exactly. Because I don't <laughs> ever want to right, something doctor. unhealthy happening down right? there. Right? <laughs> no bueno. Uh, you guys don't have these imaginary scenarios. No. Yes, I have the imagination to buy my husband I, you know what? an outfit that looks like a doctor and we could pretend in my bedroom. No, sometimes not so, an actual I'm doctor's with you, office. Jean. I'm yeah. with you, Jean, because sometimes, you know, I look at some of them pilots that be flying. Dude. Woo! I can make that cockpit go up, okay? I was like, Woo. I, oh, my take off, gosh. <laughs> I don't want to be on that flight line. I don't need I don't want to be on that flight. I'd be concerned for my safety. <laughs> the turbulence we'd be experiencing. Yes, okay. You got it. Yes. No. Well, some of you might have sex dreams of you and your lawyer, Jeannie, or the guy from the grocery store, maybe even your next door neighbor. Oh or, my doctor. But, or doctor. Or <laughs> doctor. But what do those or sex pilot. dreams actually oh, mean? Shoot. Yeah, what does it all mean? Oh, right? I've always, we should have a dream therapist on here because I really want to know, do your dreams mean something? They real? do. They, they do. do, yes. From a psychological point of view, according to EliteDaily.com, having sex dreams that include your ex actually means you are finally coming to terms with the end of your relationship <gasps> with them. Mm. That's actually oh, really? a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> Lonnie. And <laughs> if you dream of having sex with a stranger, it means you are open to change or yes. that a new opportunity <gasps> is on the way. So. <laughs> I know you guys have sex dreams. Yes. Sure. Oh, jeez, right Ronnie. Now. Oh my. <laughs> well, who do you have sex dreams of? Yeah, Lonnie. Who are your sex dreams with? Okay, you first, Lonnie. Yeah. Who's your last oh, sex dream? Yes. We gonna start with me. Yes. No. Yes. yes. No, you don't wanna start with me because it'd be the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> Tamara. 
You were sitting there innocently. I couldn't help it. No, really, no, she y'all do. know when it comes to sex. Adam. I, I, no, I. Oh, I'm. It's kind of weird, y'all. Uh oh. Ooh, it's good. Oh. Tell us. No, no somebody shot to keep it real over there. I'm yes, yes, yes. Remind her where she's okay. at. You have the girl chat table. I love it. Go to trust. No judgment. Okay. No okay. judgment table here. So you guys, it actually kind of like freaked me out a little bit, but I actually have sex dreams with a woman. Oh. I do. <laughs> well, I guess that means you're open to new opportunities. I do love you, Adrian. No, it means that I'm actually coming to terms with myself. It makes me, I, I, I'm, I'm learning to love, that does Easy sound there. I'm <laughs> learning to love myself. I can see that. Why is everybody so quiet? I don't think that's weird. <laughs> that may be why I don't, one, I don't think it's weird because it was me. <laughs> no, and that's two, the truth, that's what it means. I actually think if you find something sexy in another woman and you dream about that, I could see that it's you um, finding that sexiness in yourself. That's exactly what it means. Thank See you, that? Adrian. Who knew? That's the reality. No, That's why we're right here. You know, I, I, we're getting so dissed. Yo, Amy, we're too. getting dissed. I know. Were we? What were we doing? Were we at least like a part of? Were we like? No, y'all weren't there. The no. no. Nothing. Nothing, Jeannie. Nothing. Did we even help like phone the call in and no. get Adrian? Back, no. But back to me. <laughs> um, so what exactly is it that you find sexy about me? <laughs> Right. Wait, okay. What, can we can we talk about what happened? No, you guys, hold up. Why not? Why did this? No. Ooh, where you did you show up? Guys, that was you have to tell you that. You guys much. have to talk about what you dream of. I'm off the hook now. I said it. I'm done. I'm I'm like, no, we no. no. I was very honest. I was very honest. It was such a surprise. I know. I surprised myself when I woke up. <laughs> Well, girl, I'll God. be daydreaming of you now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, did you guys hear about the man from NYC who was dubbed the sore loser after he bought $200 worth of lottery tickets from a newsstand and got so frustrated when he won only a few dollars that he turned around and robbed the store owner? Well, that may seem like an extreme thing to do because you didn't win, <laughs> but we all deal with, you know, being sore losers every day. A sore loser, you guys, if some of you guys don't know what it is, it's defined by a person who doesn't take defeat very well. Researchers say that adult sore losers worry about what people will think of them or feel winning makes them look like a great person. So any sore losers here? Yes, because people not dreaming about me. That's why I'm saying. <laughs> Bonnie. Wait, are you really a sore loser? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You no, are. you're not. Right. No, you're not. Yes, I, at times I can be. Really? I've never... It, you know what? I'm a sore loser if I feel like, like if I look at my team, like I love football, right? Okay. And if I feel like they've been cheated on, you know, oh. like if I feel like the win wasn't justified, then I become a sore loser. Yes. And then I start talking everything, you yes. know? Yes. And then, you know, I get into arguments and stuff like that. And they're like, oh. you're just a sore loser. I'm like, no, because they should have called this call or this wasn't right or this wasn't right. And that's when I become a sore loser because then I process it too much, you know? Uh, Got it. Instead of just taking the loss and being like, right. well, I guess yes. we lost. Because I'm about, it is what you know, it is. hanging in there. And it's like, I just want it to be fair. If it's fair, Got it. you, you want fair and square. That's where that saying yeah. comes from. You want fair and square. I could take it. Yeah. But if you cheated, I don't like that. You know? Yes. I just don't like it. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind that. That's your fighting for what's fair. But you know those losers who can't even just 
let the game be fun. That oh, they yes, have to yes. ruin that. when they ruin the moment just because they didn't lose, so it becomes all about them. I don't like that because then it it creates a memory that you can't forget right. about the whole experience. Yeah. Right. But I am a gloating winner. If I win, everybody's gonna know about it. <laughs> See? Everybody. I love that. Like it's it's important. You know what I mean? Like. I don't win a lot of things. Like one time I won the practice spelling bee in third grade, uh -oh. and it, was, it wasn't the real thing, it was the practice one, so they used easier words, but I won and I never forgot that. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that is amazing. Sure. I, I, it's a big deal. Thank you. Thank you. I had to learn, if I'm honest with myself, I had to learn how to lose. When I was a kid, I was, oh, I was in the worst softball team ever in the oh, entire no. world. <laughs> and I got so sick and tired of losing that I actually faked being sick. I remember calling in the, the ref saying, <coughs> I don't feel very well. And then I remember my dad catching on to it. And he's like, Tamir, are you, are you just, you, you're just mad because you're not winning, huh? And I said, no, dad, of course, I'm sick. But later in life, I actually told him that, yeah, dad, I was, just a, I was just a sore loser then. But you know what my mom taught me? She said, Tamara, if you learn how to lose gracefully, that means you'll be a better winner. Right. Yes, that's awesome. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's so I, I had to learn how that felt yeah. so that when I won, I wouldn't gloat. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> now that they have, like, some, um, some schools, uh, have it where you don't have a winner or a I loser. Hate that. Like, I hate that. Yeah, because then I, to me, you know, it doesn't teach yeah. how to lose. No, yeah. you win, win some, you, you lose, lose some. some. Right. That's yeah. life. Yeah, put a score on it. Yeah. That's what I say. You know. I, I just feel like I know this sounds terrible, but any of you just not care enough? <laughs> I don't care. If I lose, I lose. <laughs> If I win, I win. Oh, hell no. That's cool. I just don't. No, I can't do that. No, really? no. I got I to gotta win. I, I got to win. I like it because I like getting competitive in a fun way. I like got egging it. people on. I like, nah. Like, I love putting in people's faces. But um, I'm not going to diss the, the, uh, the people who lose. I'm not going you know, to I'm not going to make it. Uh, I just Fair. like to get competitive because it makes it fun. You know, when you, like, make teams. Like, we've played uh, Shout Rageous with your family. Yes. And everybody gets competitive. And I love that. Yes, but when you lose, I just be like, oh, dang, we lost. <laughs> no, but what can you do? People, it's some people that, like, glow, and that's yeah. what makes you yeah. mad, and that makes me mad. I'm like, okay, I got you. Stop gloating. And yeah. then it's like, then we get fighting. Most of the time, you know, I'm surprised when I win. Like, winning Cooking Wars, I was like, who? <laughs> me? <laughs> I, I'm, I get and you surprised. were a great winner. That was a sweet yes, surprise. surprise though. Yes. Because you just did your best and you won, and that's what happened. Yeah. So. It's the top of the new year, so we need to get serious about something that we have all put on our resolution list saving money. Yes. Right? So important. You've got to put the work in to save that buck, people. So let's get down to brass tacks and get our save on with some money-saving tips that could put some extra cash in your pocket. It's time for Keep That Money, Honey! <laughs> all right, ladies, I'll start. Saving money is great and all, but it's even better if you're with a bank that helps you save more. Where you keep your money is important, so take a look at your bank and compare it to other banks and credit unions to see if there are perks and higher yield interest rates for saving accounts. Some banks even offer interest you can earn on your checking accounts. Ooh. The interest rates may seem small, but they can add up big over time. And no matter what, you should find a bank that does not charge fees just for having a checking account. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. yes, so true. Keep that money high. That's Love a great it. one, Tam. Right? All right. So good. This next tip can also help you guys save some serious dough. Did you know that you could save a ton on your service bills like cable and internet just by calling the companies? Really? Yes, you guys, it's true. Get ready to haggle because most cable companies realize that it's easier and cheaper to keep you as a customer mm -hmm. versus trying to get a new one. So. 
call them up and have a list ready with their competitors' prices, kind of like a price match, mm -hmm. for similar services and state your case. You guys fight for what you deserve. Use your power to walk away and find a cheaper rate to force their hand and retain you as a customer. Ooh, you smart. guys, the worst they can say is no. Yeah. But that 10 to 20 minute phone call can save you lots of money. And who doesn't love that? You guys, That's Freddie right. did this and it really does work. We saved up to 35% on our internet and cable bill. So wow. that's how we keep that money, honey. <laughs> wow. Smart. Good job, Jeannie Beans. You're welcome. Good one. Now, a great way for homeowners and renters to save money on your energy bill is to regularly change your air filters and your central and HVAC, which stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Not only is it good for your health by filtering allergens, but changing the air filters is good for your wallet. Mm. According to the Department of Energy, replacing a dirty filter with a clean one can reduce energy by as much as 15%. Wow. And most HVAC units contribute to over half your energy bill. So doing this simple step can save you about 7.5% on your bill every month. That That's how I keep that money, honey! Woo! Okay. <laughs> yes, those bills can be tricky. So while you're at it, here's how you can save on your electrical bills. Listen up. First of all, it's 2017, so if you're not on the CFL train, it's time to hop on it. Change your old light bulbs to energy-saving compact fluorescent bulbs to reduce energy costs. Have you guys heard of these light bulbs? Yeah. Yes. All right, now even more. Unplugging appliances that are not in use can also save you a lot of money on your bill as well. I had no idea yep. that even if your lamps and electronics are turned off, you guys, when they're plugged in, they're still using some electrical current. So unplug and save. It's reported that this simple trick can save you $100 or more annually. That's a lot of drinks. That's a lot of that's money. Lot. So that's how I keep that money honey. Guest is a recording artist with songs like Roller Coaster and Pretty Mess. You can also see her being very blunt and honest as ever on her hit reality show, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Please give it up for Erica Jane. <laughs> you talk about having two different personalities. Yeah. There's Erica Girardi. Right. And then there's Erica Jane. What is the difference? Well, I think everyone has two personalities. It's okay. just a matter of who you are, you know, from day to day. I mean, mm -hmm. we're all different people. But Erica Jane is the bad girl. Uh oh Ooh. So, you know, she gets to say what she wants, do what she wants, but mostly on stage. Okay, yeah. well, who was with us today? Uh, just Erica. <laughs> I'm like a hybrid today. Oh, okay, just I'm, Erica. Yeah, okay. just Erica. All right. And then All if right. we went out for drinks later. If we Erica went out for drinks, yes. then Erica Jane, you know, would probably appear. Oh, she of sounds cocktails. like a good time. I yeah. like it. Hey. She's a good time for sure. <laughs> now, Erica, you restarted your music career in your 30s, and yeah. it just seems like it freed you up because you're a lot more risque. You know, is that the case? <laughs> well, I would say that I'm a lot more comfortable in my own skin, so I was adult enough to say what I wanted to say and do what I wanted to do and not feel bad about it. Right. And not feel, you know, um, judged for it. Criticized, yes, but I don't think that I took that judgment to heart so much. I'll you know, get it, girl, look at it. Oh, oh, right. Okay, hey. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was <laughs> a fun one. <laughs> What was also so fun when you joined the cast of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> Huge show. What surprised you about the show? How fast it moves and how quickly things can get out of hand. And wow. how, oh. how quickly things can escalate. Things that seem minor all of a sudden become very big. Got it. Got yes. it. Wow. <laughs> Have you been able to maintain, like, what, what's a, what's a skill set you learned right away to be ready for that show? Be accountable for the words that come out of your mouth. Oh, wow. That's, that's good. That's, that's a great that's good. That's good. And remember. And remember. Remember what you said. Because what, re remember what you said. Because you, know, you can get tripped up if you don't. What is, for this show, what is the most surprising thing that has happened on the show to you? I'm surprised sometimes by the way people treat each other. You know, it's oh. a, it can get a little 
you know. Is it real though? For me it is. Really? Wow. Yeah, I, I, you know, no one has ever come up to me and said, hey, you need to, you know, no. So they never, I mean, do the get. producers come at you no. or it's just, no. it just happens? It happens and they give you the, the time to let it happen. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like you're not, you're not rushed into a situation. So it, it. these, you know, relationships, they can develop and open up. Is there anybody that you regret, like, or something that you've done on the show that you regret? No, I don't think so. Really? No, I think I've been pretty honest. Yeah, I've been embarrassed, but nothing that I regret. Well, no. embarrassed about. <laughs> well, like you see me cry this year, and I hate crying. So you get to see me oh, cry and real. shed a tear, and yeah. I, just, I hate that, but yeah. There, you would just... hate being on this show. We yeah, cry all, you all the time. time. Yeah. Well, I just, okay. I, you know, you cry I, all the time. I like to cry in private, mm -hmm. of course, and I end up, like, losing it twice this year. But you know, Are you an fun. ugly crier? Or oh, pretty... 100%. Like, oh. Nose red. Uh -huh. like, <laughs> yeah. The whole nine yards. Horrible, horrible. I love it. Now... I have a thing, I like older men, I do, I do, and I know that you have an older husband. Yeah. What do you like about being married to an older man? Well, I just feel, you know, there's a... Money. Well... Okay. However, yeah, there's a lot of um, confidence, yes. knowledge. I really enjoy asking my husband a lot of questions because yeah. he's like a walking encyclopedia. I love that. He's and smart. I, yeah, he is. And he's accomplished in his yeah, field. Yeah, so, I love that. You know, it's good to have free legal services. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Get my go. lawyer on the phone. Right. Yeah. You're sleeping with your lawyer. And it's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be so illegal so in the state of California. Yeah, I saw that. Which See, I told not you not a bad all... idea. See, See it's not, not as bad not a bad idea. idea. I love your honesty. We're having so yeah. much fun with you. Will you stick Thank around you. and play a game with us? Oh, my gosh, okay. Is it a bad game? No. no. Okay. no. Do you have want fun. it to be bad? No, I want it okay. to be good. Okay, okay. Be then good. it'll be a good yeah. game. Okay. Okay. Erica, you were talking about you getting a role on The Young and the Restless. You were great. How was it? Awesome. Um, yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's really great. Eileen gave me this role for as a present for my 45th birthday. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could do that, but apparently she has a lot of pull <laughs> over there. So, um, yeah, it was wonderful. It was quite an experience. That's a really fast-moving um, operation over there. I mean, mm -hmm. soaps are fast. How'd you learn the lines? Like, did you learn them quickly? Over and over <laughs> and over. I was sweating it. I was like... Eileen, listen, please, do not <laughs> let me go down in flames. <laughs> 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 Over-rehearsed, and, you know, it came out great. I love it. That was so awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you. Now, as a fan of the show, we all know that you are super honest, and you tell it like it is. Yeah. So we figured we'd play a game. It's going to be really, really good. Um, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. All right, we want your take on a few celebs, and you got to keep it real, okay? Okay. So, Lonnie will oh. read you a name, and you have to say what you think of them right away. Easy, right? Uh, no. Okay. No? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go. It gets a little difficult because you can only use one word. Oh, I love this. Okay. Ready? All right. Lonnie, Pray hit it. for me. Kyle Richards. <laughs> Fun. Yolanda Hadid. True. Ooh. Lisa Renna. Ah, uh, she's a good time. Oh. <laughs> Lisa Vanderpump. Smart. Oh. Kim Richards. I like Kim. She's good. She's a good person. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. You know, yes. that was positive. That's all that. good. That was that really, was really good. good. Yeah, it was. You know, yeah. do me, do me, do me. Ask me about them. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, really? Yeah. So, Jeannie? Crazy. <gasps> Tamara? Crazier. Adrian? Craziest. Yes! Oh, yeah. 